Welcome to the RSP Boiler Room. I'm Matt Waldman with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. We're going to take a look at Jared Pickney, the tight end for the Vanderbilt Commodores. He is probably one of the top tight ends in this particular class. You're going to see him work outside and up on this little bullet route, juggle the ball a little bit, turn up field, finish for a touchdown. What I like about this play, I mean, he's a decent blocker, and you see him try and set up this outside block as if he may be stock blocking the linebacker, and then he turns on the juice a little bit to get past him. And I love the extension here to catch this ball because you're going to have a defensive back behind him. He knows that he's going to have a defender behind him, and he still goes up to win the ball, takes the hit, comes down with it again when the ball pops loose, and then just nice job finishing, just lowering the shoulder. And he gets chopped in half here, and he lands kind of awkwardly here. I mean, that's a pretty awkward um, landing here, right on the shoulder. And then his bottom half kind of whiplashes back. Um, that lower back's probably feeling real good about right now. But I like the toughness. I mean, this is a guy who's willing to go up in traffic, uses his hands first. That's a tough catch. Comes down with it. Juggles it a little bit, but he gets a second chance opportunity. And because he used his hands first, he had to, of course, but he had good fingertip usage with his hands. It didn't just strike off of his palms. It was able to slow the recoil a little bit so that he had chances to have these opportunities even after getting hit. And then still to be able to hold on to that ball <laughs> after he gets chopped down like this. Tough dude. I mean, this is... The second quarter, five minutes left in the second quarter, and he still has a lot more game left in him. And I like that they use Pinckney both split in the slot and split outside, and he runs some wide receiver-like routes. You're going to see him up here, work outside in on the off coverage here, kind of frame separation, run that dig, break inside, in between a triangle of defenders here, and then be able to push another six, seven yards on this particular play. Is a strong dude, too. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Algie Crumpler back in the day. Algie Crumpler was a guy who could block really well. I think Pinckney's got a ways to go as a blocker, but he does a lot of the right things you want to see as a cut blocker, drive blocker, um, reach blocker, stock blocker. But he just has to be a little bit better with his positioning and delivering a punch and getting his weight into it a little bit. But as a receiver, this guy can execute speed cuts really well. And he's not afraid of getting up here in traffic. And that's what you can see. This is a powerful guy who's willing to deal with physical play. And this last example is a good one. You're going to see him bottom left or slot left here. Nice job with the high point. And again, you know, I mean, you're going to watch him against this linebacker. It's a mismatch. A little chop right there outside after kind of working inside on the linebacker. Watch him kind of with his stem work a little bit to the inside into the body a little bit, then back outside, chop through, get separation. But it's the leaping catch, knowing that there's a safety behind him. He's able to track this ball, late hands, snatch it down, full extension, protect the ball. Doesn't take any real hit there. But the threat of that contact right there. And what you're seeing is a guy who's willing to go up the seam, willing to go over the middle, someone who can run routes at, with his hand in the dirt, able to run routes, detached from the formation this is an intriguing player one of the better tight ends in this class for sure jared pickney thanks again for watching for more rsp boiler room videos you can check out my youtube channel matt waldman's rsp film room and my site www.mattwaldmanrsp.com